There he goes, my first student solo. I'm praying to God. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Grant. I am new to YouTube-ish, and uh, I've actually been wanting to make this video for a long time, and it's been about a year that I started learning how to become a pilot, and mainly because we've been flying on the weekends due to the weather and uh, the great state of Florida, but finally to the point where I'm about a week away from doing my check ride, and I wanted to make this YouTube video about encouraging people to get into, into flying based upon my student solo, which it was really the moment that it clicked from going from the phases of doing like a discovery flight and being with an instructor to actually being by yourself in an airplane, taking off and landing. And for me, uh, typically, you know, this happens somewhere between like 10 to 20 hours-ish of experience flying planes with an instructor. And I think I was somewhere like right in the middle of that at like 15 hours. And I didn't actually have a, a camera in the plane with me, but I put one under the plane and then had you know videos from my instructor um, that you'll you know you'll see it in just a minute. But mainly the point of this video was that I wanted to encourage people. If you're thinking about it, do it. Take that jump. Uh, and this all this YouTube video is sort of the product of that as well, where you just you want to talk about something, you want to like express yourself, you want to tell people your experience. You know, go out and do it. What I remember that from that day was it was like a little bit overcast, so it was a little. Um, I personally like that where you're not taking off like directly into the sun or landing directly in the sun. Uh, I find that can be at its own degree of challenges. So this particular day was a little bit overcast. Only problem that I remember was that there was a lot of people in the pattern. So you have a lot of people that you have to be aware of. You're looking out the window, as you should be doing anyways when you're flying, but you're looking out the window, seeing the other, other pilots in the air. And then the nerve wracking thing was um, when, what typically happens when you go to do your student solo is that the day that it could potentially happen or might happen, you know, you're aware that it could happen, um, you go up with your instructor for a little bit, you do a couple laps in the pattern, do some landings, get good, get, get feeling pretty good. And then you land one time and your instructor says, hey, you know, pull over and he gets out and closes the door and lashes it and it's you. And you were sitting there by yourself in control of this airplane as pilot in command for the first time. And I remember I dropped him off at one of the FTVs and he got out and he was standing there and I, you know, closed the door readjust the glasses, readjust the headphones and said, it's time, like it's time to go. And I pulled out and I got in line behind like a citation and two other um, planes that were in the pattern that day and off we went. And you know, this is the product of that. It was three takeoffs and three landings to a full stop, which means you land on the runway, full aerodynamic braking, you get off of the nearest taxiway, you clean the plane up, then you turn it back around, you get on the taxiway, and you go back to the start, and you do it again. And then you do it again. And then you pull over, and you know, there you are. And you've done it. You have sold it as a, as a pilot. And a lot of people, you know, you'll just see people that are, you know, you, you're all different levels of experience, all different ages, all different, you know, types of people going into planes and giving this a shot. And it is, I never really, like, understood why I wanted to do this in the first place, but... I'm really glad I did. It's a, it's a cool it's a cool experience. It's something that if you've even been thinking about it, just the thought of being in control of a machine that lifts you thousands of feet above the earth and you can just look out and you can see everything and you're in control. You wanna you know go left, you wanna dive right, it's up to you. Like you are in control of that aircraft and that's uh you know the world's really just your oyster and it is below you and you can see everything and the heavens are above you. Um so yeah, this, this video, like, I'm gonna hopefully make a couple more videos in the weeks to come of you know uh, what what pilot uh, you know the process of being coming a pilot, what it's cost so far, um, some of the things I wish I'd have done and learned about, um, things that I'm looking to do with my pilot's license, things like that. So 
hopefully, you know, you guys want to take that journey with me. Um, doing that, obviously, you're going to talk about some of the other videos that are going to be on the channel. Um, but uh, hope, hopefully, you enjoy. Let's take a look. You're my sunshine every morning, light up every moment, make my every dream come true. Don't you know that life's a dance? Come take my hand and fly away with me. Make my heart race in a hurry. Lose my. Second I'm with you We'll turn all the pages Check off all the places Every day is something new Don't that sky look blue yeah. It come fly away with me Imagine all the things that we could see yeah, Don't you know that You did it, man. Keep it coming. Do it two more times. There he is, the man of the hour. He freaking did it. Yes. Super proud of this guy. He's come a long way. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good ride there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Flexing my back as hard as I can right now. <laughs> there you are, man. Congratulations. All right. Good job. I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. And there you have it. That was my first student solo. I uh, still, I mean, just looking back on it, like it still just gives me, you know, goosebumps. Like some of the different hurdles and challenges that, that happened that day. And it's crazy. Like as you saw when you finish it and you, you do your student solo, your flight instructor will actually, you know, if some flight schools do it, some flight schools don't. But will cut out the back of your t-shirt and at least what he told me and what I've seen is that it's from like this old school idea that your flight instructor used to sit behind you and would like tug on you to get your attention and that was how he would like instruct you in flying in like old school planes and the cutting of the back of the t-shirt signifies that you don't need that that tug anymore and that you're able to kind of go out in the world and do your own thing and you can fly a plane and uh, so it's kind of funny I mean still have my, my little shirt tail and it's uh, will be certainly something that I'll, I'll hold on to and cherish for a long time. So hope you enjoyed and look forward to continuing the conversation, making more videos.